Warning, the following video is a fictional story and should never be reenacted or replicated. What's going on guys? So I was just laying in bed the other day and I got to thinking, what can I make more content on? And so I was thinking back on back in high school and I was like, well, I could do like a story time of events that happened back in high school. I'd say I had a really good kind of crazy high school growing up, obviously ups and downs, typical high school stuff. Me and my friends, we did a lot of crazy stuff that thankfully we never really got in too much trouble over. Um, obviously some stories will never be told, but um, I have a decent amount of stories that I feel would be pretty interesting. So I was thinking, why not do a Dirt Road Chronicles or something like that, Dirt Road Stories. Not sure what I named it, Rip Paint. And I thought, why don't I just hit up a dirt road and tell y'all a story about something that happened back in the day. These are just stories, they're not meant for you to go reenact them or do anything like that. I'm gonna start off with a pretty tame one, but it's pretty funny. So it started back in 11th grade. We had this new teacher come in. Our class was mixed between the 11th grade and the seniors. So me and the seniors, most of my friends were seniors, like after school hangout buddies. And he was one of those teachers that day one was like stupid strict and my class was like the, we did whatever we wanted, but we did it low key so that we didn't get in trouble so we could continue to do whatever we wanted. Whereas the class above me was kind of more of the like, I'm gonna fight back with the teachers and then, you know, jump ship or, or get in trouble and whatever. So a lot of the seniors were in our class and day one, he was like super strict and all this kind of stuff. And you could pick a different class other than his, you could go do some other subject. So a bunch of kids swapped over to the other class, but me and several of my good buddies, we stuck it out into a whole year with him. And then the following year, had him again. And a lot of people just did not like him because of his personality. Well, his daughter was in my class, which I never had any problems with her. She was cool. I mean, that was whatever. My senior year, we were doing our senior prank stuff, right? Just being stupid. The previous class, they did too big and they told us like if we do anything at the school, like we're gonna not graduate. So we couldn't do anything at the school, so what do you do? You go out and you do stuff not at school. So we got the bright idea that we were gonna go roll the crap out of his house. So we ended up meeting up at this girl's house that was in my class. Her parents were out of town, so we met up there. Everybody brought toilet paper and stuff. We met up there and we were trying to figure out the whole route we were gonna take, what we were gonna do, that kind of stuff. But I got volunteered to drive. So we're going to be going out this super long dirt road, rolling the crap out of this house and getting out of there. So we loaded up and this was in my 06 F-150 crew cab and we loaded up. I don't even know, probably eight people inside and then probably like five in the bed. Figured I would make a little bit of a video out here it is so dusty. It literally hasn't rained here in over a month. It is, it's just insane. We got like two sprinkles today and that was it. So super dusty, but she's looking sick. And if y'all saw the video where this was flooded, so this is like normal height. So you can see just how much, wow, real, how much this does flood from that video compared to this one. So pretty crazy. But let's go ahead and hop back in, finish the story. All right, so everyone's piled in and it was all my fellow seniors as well as one kid from two grades below me. And he was, you know, one of those kids that, you know, you're trying to act cool, you know, whatever, you're with a, you're with a, uh, older kids and stuff, so you, you know, you're kind of being crazy and whatnot. This'll, we'll get to that in a second. Cruising down the dirt road, right? Well, we were thinking, you know, what are we gonna do? We're we gonna like go park and walk down there? What, it is like a, a dirt road that's pretty often traveled, so, if someone sees my truck sitting on the side of the road, you know, they might call the police, they might get out and investigate, he might drive up, you know, we don't know if he's home or anything. And take into account, remember, this is a, <laughs> his daughter's in my class, so we've, <laughs> my entire class has, um, and this is really me and I, you know, whatever, stupid young. Um, my whole class really did this secretly behind her back. Um, but anyway, so we, we decided that I'm going to stay in the truck. I'm going to dump everybody out like, I don't know, a hundred yards up the road, let them carry the toilet paper, let them walk. And then I'm just going to go cruise on by. So I go cruise on by, I get to scope it out, see if, um, anyone was there, any lights are on, that kind of stuff. I call them up. I'm like, yo, they got a couple like porch lights on, but no big deal. Um, y'all, y'all are good to go. So I was going to go down a ways turn around, come back, pick everybody up. So <laughs> they go to 
town i'm talking about we got them good and i come pulling back up and it's just it's a freaking white christmas it is everywhere and it's awesome so <laughs> everyone i cruise on by people are running uh, there's one kid by class he's a goofball he was like didn't want to leave and i'm just like dude you get in the truck or we're gonna leave you and he comes running down behind us hops in the bed we take off right we get up the dirt road a little bit and we go ahead and we're just talking amongst each other and like i said we had that one kid that was two years younger than us he's just dying laughing dude just dying laughing and we're like dude what is so funny he's like dude i took a piss in their mailbox and it was full of mail which being an adult now horrible thing to do horrible never do that never do that don't destroy someone's property don't tear their mailbox up don't don't if it's not yours don't break it no problems we get back to the trucks everyone yay we did it we got him we showed him we're fixing a graduator or whatever we're we, we're freaking great we successful right we thought we were we thought we were golden right following monday we show up to school we were expecting him to have an idea of something and her as well well we get there everything's you know not really anything said so we get in his class and he starts talking about somebody doing something to his neighbor <laughs> we rolled the freaking wrong house we didn't know his exact address we just knew where he lived from her and we saw what, we knew what he drove and we saw it parked what we thought at this house wrong house dude so we did all of that work and and we just wrecked somebody we have no clue who they even are so rip them uh we failed miserably he was not affected in any way um, I don't believe they ever found out that we did that, um, which is great because we probably would have got destroyed. Um, definitely got in trouble many a times in high school, but um, that one was pretty much unscathed, which is awesome. So that is going to be story number one. I, you know, hey, I don't know if it's entertaining or not. So uh, we're about to hit the pavement again. So we got to end the Dirt Road Chronicles. So if you did like this, definitely leave a like. Let me know because um, I've got plenty of stories that I would love to tell y'all and um, just share the experience and, and have some content for y'all. So definitely let me know if you did enjoy this. And with all that being said, I'm about to go pick some rocks out of my tires before I hit the highway because I do not like craters in my truck and these Aturos throw them everywhere. So yeah, with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. I will see y'all in the next one. I think she's ready for a bath. Got them 12 wide scooping some dirt. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Dude, it just completely destroyed my truck if I don't pick at least some of these out. I mean, that's like 10 right there in the tiniest little location. Horrible. <sighs> Struggle is real. And if you think this is dumb, please go spend a lot of money on a truck and destroy it because you don't care. And video it. Tag me in it. I'll comment on it or something, even though you won't. You won't do that. Unless you're whistling diesel. Golly, they're in there too, so they don't come off until they're like a million miles per hour. Look at that. Hit my truck on the keys. Goodness. I'll probably pick just as many up pulling out of here. as clean as I'm going to get her. I'll see y'all in the next one.